Yo, what's going on? Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create pretty much as many variations of a reference image that you want using N8N and um, OpenAI's new ChatGPT uh, image creation API. So I'm just going to go through the uh, entire workflow first, and then I'll show you kind of like step by step how to um, build this out yourself. So we start by testing the workflow, and the workflow is triggered by a uh, form. So if I just test workflow here, the only thing you need to add is the brand name. So in this case, I'll just do uh, try Brez because they're fucking awesome. Add in the website and then we just uh, upload the reference image that we want. So in this case, I'm just going to do this one right here. We hit submit. And then right here, we see that the ad is first uploaded to our Google Drive. Um, then re-downloaded, it gets the image description, then it goes in and gets all of the branding um, data. And I'll open all of this up here in a second. Then we move over to the actual agent itself, which creates all of the prompts. It spits this out, um, passes the prompts back alongside the reference image, and then sends everything over to uh, OpenAI's image gen. Uh, API and then it will finally upload as a uh, JPEG image inside of our folder. So if I just open up uh, the folder right here, you can see that the reference image has been uploaded and then I'll just pause this video here until the entire flow is finished and then I'll um, show you how everything looks like um, once the flow is done. All right, we're back. I think that took about 10 minutes or so. So if I open up the Google Drive here and hit refresh, we should see 10 variations. And yes, we do. This is the, uh, let's see, where's the original one? Here it is, yeah, original. And then if we just swipe through them, one, two, three, four, five. And 10 so it's pretty cool I mean obviously these aren't perfect you can see that I mean this one actually came out really good but on some of these you'll see that probably the text isn't always perfect actually these came out really good which is interesting sometimes you can kind of like see that the text gets a little bit fucked up but here it uh, yeah here you can see that obviously like this doesn't really look great but I mean yeah this is really cool so let's just dive into the full flow here so as I said, we start with a form trigger node, and um, here I just add in the, again, name, the website, and the um, file type, which will just be an add image. You can add in JPEG here if you kind of like just want to have certain types, I just left that as is. We then go into uh, the upload to Google Drive node, and the reason we have to do this is because just due to kind of like how N8N is set up, you can't really pass along all of the um, the prompts and the reference data that we're going to pass on later here into uh, or alongside the the uh, original uploaded image here. So what we have to do is we just have to upload the image first to Google Drive. So I just uploaded this right here into um, my edit in testing folder. And um, yeah, you can just look up how you connect to Google Drive if you haven't done that but we basically just upload to Google Drive and then we download again the image to Google Drive. And the reason we do that is because right here in this uh, OpenAI node, um, we basically grab a description of the image. So if I just open this up right here, you can see that the prompt is describe the visual style, subject matter and composition of this image. And then kind of like just, yeah, is it a lifestyle image, product shot only, or a combination, include lighting style and camera angle if possible. And we wouldn't be able to do this if we didn't have the downloaded um, image right here. So yeah, we get the uh, description of the reference image. Then we go into um, the OpenAI uh, node right here. And if I just open this up again, this one basically is prompted to be a visual brand strategist and art director. Uh, we basically just want to basically just grab a um, yeah brand description to again pass along to the 
um, next agent, which will be um, creating all the prompts. So here we just basically have the um, agent uh, focus on the brand's visuals. So like the color palettes, photography, image themes, moods, um, and so on. Be descriptive, descriptive, but concise. And then we just add in again the brand website, which is passed from the uh, form and the brand name, which is also passed from the form in the first step. So as you can see here, drinkbrez.com and then brand name, try brez. And then you can see here we get the output visual aesthetics for try brez uses a soft natural and light color palette dominant beige off-white neutral tones so that's pretty cool so again we kind of like we uh upload the image and then re-download it so we can pass the description and the branding data to OpenAI, and then we send all of this into the prompting agent which is what we use to kind of like create all of the prompts that we send over to the open uh, AI uh, API node right here. So if we just open this up, the first thing that we do is we just, uh, again, I just, I've, I've just added this as another step here. So we just give the uh, AI agent the brand name, the website. Then right here, we also added the reference ad description from the previous uh, step and the visual style overview. So you can see right here, we have the brand name, you have the website. Again, here you can see the reference uh, ad description that it pulled from the reference um, ad. So this image showcases a product only shot of a can label Brez, blah, blah, blah. Then we do the same with the visual style for try Brez. So the color palette, photography style, imagery themes, and so on. And then under the system uh, message, which is basically kind of like the, I guess you can say the rules for the, for this AI agent. Here we, again, I just passed this through. I, I'm not sure if this is the best practice, but this is at least how I've done it. So I just added again, the brand name, website, uh, ad description and the visual style. And then the prompt is your task is to generate 10 tightly related visual variations of a reference ad, uh, not new concepts. So again, the, the prompts or the output that you're gonna get here all depends on what you put in here. So for, for this flow, I wanted it to be kind of like 10 close iterations of a winning ad that we can test. So I didn't really want it to go kind of like super off uh, rails here with the prompting to kind of like create like super net new um, image variations. I wanted these to be more kind of like iterations of an already winning ad and just like changing small pieces, which we saw that the uh, prompts and the images were. So that's why I have this prompt here. Uh, and then again, reference materials, we have the brand info, the website, the visual aesthetics and the reference image. Then just another uh, message here, use the reference image description to ground your concepts and visual reality. The new prompt should feel like believable variations of the original image. And then for each of the 10 prompts, Preserve the reference image subject, so like the product, the camera angle, and the core framing. Only vary the background, environment, mood, and so on. And again, all of these are uh, different things that you can test and kind of like play around with to see what the output looks like. Uh, and then uh, here, the goal is to create subtle performance testable image variations, not entirely new compositions. And then lastly here, I just have it return um, the prompts as a JSON array of 10 uh, objects, and that's just to more easily pass it um, over into the um, to the image gen uh, API node. So we have that here, and then we just uh, hook up a um, a model to the uh, to the AI agent. I just chose uh, Claude three point seven Sonnet. You can play around here. You can like choose any model you want. Um, you can like choose ChatGPT. For me, I found that um, Anthropic and three point seven Sonnet gave the um, the best uh, prompt outputs. So that's what I'm using here. And then we just have a structured output parser node right here. So this is basically just um, telling the AI agent how to kind of like, um, yeah, uh, generate the prompts as a JSON. So you can see right here, we have all the different 10 prompts here. So prompt one, I guess like prompt zero, prompt one, prompt two, and so on. And all of these uh, individual prompts will be sent alongside the reference image to the uh, OpenAI HTTP request node. So we have 10 prompts right here. Moving on, we just have a split out nodes, which basically splits out all of the prompts into 10 um, individual prompts. So I just have right here output, and then you can see right here, we have the 10 
individual prompts. Then again, we just re-download the um, original image right here that we uploaded in the first step. And then we move on to, I'll get back to this, but we basically just put a loop node right here that we um, connect to the entire flow and then we just go back. So essentially we do this because we have 10 prompts right here and we kind of like, we want to complete this entire cycle 10 times, each time for each individual prompt. So yeah, we connect the upload um, node into the loop node and then the uh, loop node connects into the HTTP request node, which is for generating the actual image. So if I open this up, um, yeah, we just have it connected to our open AI, um, credentials. If you haven't done that, there's tons of videos of how you can do that. So I won't go through that here, but basically we just have under the body content type, we have form data, which is obviously what we uploaded in the first form node. So here we just have under parameter type, we have an N8N N binary file. Cause that's just how the actual image is, um, passed. Uh, name image and then input data field name is just data and then uh, again another field which is form data and then the prompt and then this is where the prompt from the previous um, steps right here from the loop over um, items node comes in so you just drag this right in here and then it'll dynamically update for each of the 10 um, items right here so you can see that we have like one like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then it'll just loop through um, this entire flow 10 times each time for um, the individual prompt. Then lastly, right here, we just have the model that we're going to use for the chat uh, GPT image gen, and I'm just using uh, GPT image gen one. You can obviously like use Dolly here, whatever you want, but yeah, obviously the the newest or the latest version, was, which is uh, GPT image one, is the one that I'll get the best output. Then lastly, we uh, connect the output to a convert to uh, file node because the image is passed back as this kind of like B64 JSON string right here. So we basically just have to um, convert this uh, string into a um, into a PNG file. So right here, you can see that we just drag this in uh, right here. Then you can see right here that we have all of the 10 individual files. So if I just click here and then just click view, you'll see that we have all of the individual variations created right here. One, five, eight, nine, ten, view, and so on. And then we just connect that to the upload to Google Drive node. And then again, we just connect the output or sorry, the last step here again, back into the loop. So it loops through the entire thing 10 times. And then again, once everything's done, it is uploaded into Google Drive. So again, I think like the main thing to kind of like play around with here is I'd say probably kind of like the descriptions and kind of like the branding data of how you want to pass that into the um, AI um, agent node right here. But I think like playing around with the prompts uh, in here uh, is where you're kind of like going to be able to um, like, um, how to say, it, get the most changes or kind of like... Um, yeah, uh, different ways to create these images. So yeah, whatever you put in here in terms of like prompts and uh, system messages and rules will determine what the output prompts is, which obviously will determine kind of like what the um, image you generate will look like. So yeah, playing around with these prompts. I mean, you obviously can do more than 10 if you want. Just remember that there is a cost for each um, image generation. I think it's like around 20 cents or so for each um, image you generate. So, so just keep that in mind as well. But yeah, obviously like the more you play around with like the descriptions, like if you want to do net new variations, if you want to do like specific concepts like us versus them and so on, you can do that. You just see selfie style. You can do that as well. But yeah, this is kind of like where you'll have to play around a little bit to kind of like see what kind of prompts you want to, um, feed into the, um, open AI, uh, HTTP request node. But that's pretty much it guys. This is the entire flow right here. I can, um, I can, um, yeah, answer any questions you guys might have around this. Just hit me up on uh, Twitter or X if you guys have any questions, but yeah, hope this was helpful and, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thanks.